Hello guys, today I am going to start our tutorial series on SAP 2000 and this is first tutorial part where we are going to discuss the user interface of SAP 2000, how it looks and uh, what things are content uh, in this whole software. Uh, first of all, let's, let's start with our introduction part and then we'll discuss the modeling of a multi-story building uh, by taking our plan example from AutoCAD <coughs> and then sorry <coughs> and then we'll uh, analyze uh, the building after modeling it and then finally design it mm, we'll analyze using two two methods one is static method and another is dynamic method uh, in dynamic method we'll use two methods they are uh, response spectrum method and then time history method time history method are done in two ways in this step 2000 um, one is taking data directly from pre-existing earthquake uh, or earthquake happened in any time in any place in the world that is taking the um, ground acceleration data uh, versus time and uh, another is uh, taking a sine or cosine curve uh, we will see that later first of all let's describe our user interface here we can see a uh, new model file and this opens a new file to our program this is for opening a external file and all are in uh, faded here because they are not in use uh, not in the file are opened so these are all faded um, this is the file tab let's click here and see what it contains first of all is the model new model and open we can see this both files are present here in shortcut menu uh, in shortcut menu the file this file these tabs are accessible from this drop down list also uh, first of all let's open a new example file just for this tutorial to understand the user interface so let's open new file we'll use only new model and uh, new model um, tab and um, create uh, oh, sorry report setup set, tab to create a report uh, uh, first of all let's click uh, new model then open any uh, we can see in unit here uh, leave it kill node in middle and centigrade degree centigrade and <coughs> let's open a 3d frame click ok this, this is just for example so uh, first, uh, so we can see all the tabs where which were um, dimmed or which were not visible previously are now visible. We can click and drop down them now. So let's see what edit contents. Edit in edit we can see undo. We can do this uh, directly from our keyboard, clicking Ctrl Z uh, simultaneously. So we don't need to click here. And others are not needed. We can we need only this replicate and extrude here. Uh, view in view we can see uh, this display set display option it is present here also. We can click directly here in shortcut menu, not clicking here. And um, uh, others this zoom everything is present here in direct or shortcut menu. Or we can zoom in and out by our mouse also and pen is also we can click our cursor and mouse to pen uh, throughout the drawing and in show grid we can click um, or make our grid uh, show or make visible or invisible our grid by clicking it it is present here also uh, this um, now let's see uh, define where we can see materials this will define our materials like um, concrete or um, rebars and uh, then six section properties here we can see frame section these are for, for the columns and beams area section for our slab others are not needed because we are not making any cables or tendons here so in mass source is required and then functions these are for responsive spectrum this is dynamic function and time history this is also dynamic function these two are not required and load patterns we are we, we are going to define what patterns of loads like um, dead live or earthquake or wind load are required in this design or which forces are exerted in the building uh, load cases are 
cases of those loads we will see later on what is it about it is about uh, load combinations are the combination of loads which are given by our codes IS codes or um, various um, European or American standard codes then um, others are not needed the, these moving loads are uh, used for the bridge design vehicles these are used for bridge design so there are many other software for bridge design like CSI bridge uh, so uh, SAP is rarely used for bridge design now in draw we can see this options all are present here in shortcut menu here in by side side panel so we can use direct from here directly from here so this um, tab is not required select we can select these are um, required for naming our uh, building elements like beams columns naming them um, these are required few of them are required i uh, will see later and assign we can these are used uh, these are not um, not clickable or not visible here these are faded uh, letters joints frames these are faded because we have not clicked any if we click some of them like uh, if we click a uh, beam here then uh, this frame is visible because beam is a frame if we click a joint then it, this joint is will be visible so yeah, these frames are visible and we require joint frame area uh, joint or uh, sorry frame loads and um, area loads in this and assigned to groups this sometimes is clear display patients are also used we will use later and analyze we use um, set analysis option and, and run analysis run analysis is directly available in the shortcut menu here this is run analysis symbol we can see this symbol here and in display we can we use this to view different types of drawing like bending movement shear force diagram uh, and in design we can see the steel frame design here this is finally used to design our building uh, still we are going to model a concrete frame design so this is required for our building these are for the aluminum frame design and the cold frame uh, the steel frame design uh, lateral bracing these are for trusses uh, options um, not any is used um, graphics mode we can use this to make our drawing a different type different view like direct x uh, direct x makes a different type different view of building where we can easily rotate it without making any blur drawings and uh, this is uh, and uh, where again we can make it to our default view with the classical plus this makes a little disturbed um, kind of rotating so we can play with um, with them and um, keep a view which we need or which looks good to our drawing any and set calculator memory these are not required from our, for our building model our design tools these are not required these are uh, help we can take help from septuzone about septuzone and we can uh, learn from here about septuzone mm, these are the um, shortcut menus we are going to use frequent uh, frequently and uh, this mix cables uh, sorry frames mm, frames uh, directly from clicking um, in two consecutive points like uh, if I click here then this is the property of the frame this is used to make a beam or column uh, we can see line object type this is straight frame our beam is going to be straight so if we are going to make a curved beam then we can click here curved frame but we are using straight frame so click here and drop down you can see various options we will click on the straight frame and then section type we have not defined any section we can define section from here we'll define um, while modeling tomorrow or uh, in the next video then section uh, we can click here and, and drop down we find only this default section so clicking here if we have made any other section then it will be visible here too and we can click in them uh, others are this uh, moment releases we continue these are not good actually these are for continuous beam or pinned beam 
type so we can click in two consecutive points here click here and click here we can make a frame and directly we can make cl clicking this option here this clicking here we can make directly a directly clicking on the grid we can make a beam this is a shortcut method or by drawing this lines we have made by drawing this way we can made, uh, make all beams at once uh, these are uh, draw braces for drawing braces so our building doesn't contain any braces so we don't require this these are for the poly area for slabs these are options for slab this is for direct slab you can click in this uh, click here and we can see section we have not defined any section till now so it is uh, set as default AC we don't know what its properties click here in middle directly and we have made a slab here it is not visible it is visible in 3d but it is not visible here so let's try to view it if we click in this set, set display options we have seen in previously here somewhere um, set display options here we saw this but we can click directly here and view display options and fill objects click and flip view fill and extrude objects and apply to all windows this means both the two windows and click ok and we can see the slab here now slab is visible so this way we can draw and in here clicking here we can draw by clicking in the points uh, this way this we can see this moving point and click here and slab is drawn uh, so this is the user interface if you are new to Saptizen then you, I, th I hope you have understood what Saptizen is basically so in our next video we will uh, learn how to model a building and then we will analyze and finally design our building thank you